It's been about three months since I made one of these, so how about we just get straight to it? Long ago, in the state of Ohio, lived a wealthy farmer. Being so wealthy, he decided to build a barn every time his wife had a baby. He practically had to build one a year at the rate he was having children. And for six years straight, he built six barns, each named after one of his children. After some time, he built another, as a seventh child was on the way. When it came time for the mother to go into labor, the farmer was happy. Everything was going fine. That was, until she delivered the baby in the hospital room. The mother had died the moment she gave birth. Her heart gave out, unable to bear the pain of giving birth to another child. Sadly, the baby was in no better condition. The doctors were able to pull the baby out. Unfortunately, it was strangled. Strangled by the umbilical cord, which kept it alive up to that point. Months went by, and the farmer did not, could not tend to the barn. He was driven mad with grief. He was unable to bear the notion that he no longer had his dearly beloved by his side. Soon after, the once wealthy farmer found himself with no money, and the farm started going under. At some point, all the stress just got to him, and one night, he just snapped. On a dark night, lit only by the light of the full moon, the farmer took his axe and led his children to the barns. He laid them on the floor and told them to close their eyes. And with one clean swing, he managed to take the heads of the children clean off. He buried the bodies underground at each of the six barns, and then made his way to the seventh. He tied a rope around his neck and hung himself. Years later, the barns were eventually torn down. The land sold to the highest bidders. All the land was sold, except for the land which housed the seventh barn. No one wanted to purchase the land. No one even wanted to take a look at it. The stories of the distraught farmer that went mad and murdered his family made people stay clear of the barn, and thus it was never bought. The abandoned barn soon fell into disrepair, withered and left in ruin. Legend has it, if you go to the barn at the brink of night, you can see the ghost of the farmer, hanging by the rope he used to hang himself. All you hear is the sound of the dead farmer's body creaking along the rafters, drifting back and forth by the slight push of the wind. This legend has been around for a while, and has been told by many, usually by teens daring their friends to go to some abandoned barn by the countryside. However, the truth of the matter is, no one really knows if the legend is real. And, if it is real, no one knows where the barn actually is. Although the biggest clue is that it's definitely in Ohio, given that that's where the story takes place. Many people have thrown their two cents into the matter, claiming it to be in Kranz Farm in Cuyaha Valley, or even the barn nicknamed Top of the World in Northampton. However, at the end of the day, no one has the slightest clue where the barn may be. Or, at least no one alive. In 1997, there was a history teacher in Ohio who would, on his free time, actually research old urban legends, like the Seventh Barn, to establish their validity. It was something he did often, and would later detail his discoveries to the class. One day, his students presented to him the legend of the Seventh Barn. Interested, he looked further into it, and apparently made the discovery that the barns that were allegedly torn down never were. He took the time to pinpoint the location of the barns, and according to him, he found all the barns with the names of the children from the legend, all engraved on the sides of the structures. So, one Friday night, he took his son with him to visit the barns, with a video camera at hand, 
in hopes that he would capture something paranormal. The next morning, the teacher's wife grew wary. Her husband and son had yet to return home. So, she called the police. She reported the two missing, and after some time, police found the teacher's car on the side of the road. As they scouted the area, they found the seven different barns from the legend. They searched one by one, and once they arrived at the seven barn, they came to a grisly discovery. In the seventh barn, they found the bodies of the teacher and his son hanging from the rafters. They swayed back and forth, and upon an autopsy, the coroner discovered that the two did not die from the hanging, but died from a sudden heart attack. In other words, they died of fright, and the hanging was done post-mortem. This is certainly a disturbing legend, but without much evidence to prove its validity, it's nothing more than that. A legend. The story of the Seventh Barn has been discussed and debated over a few years now, and many people today still strive to find the location, you know, of the supposedly haunted barn. That said, while it may be a legend, all legends are sprouted from a seed of truth. So who knows, maybe there is some hidden barn out there, lost to the annals of time, waiting to be discovered. Although. Given what you've just heard, maybe some discoveries are better left undiscovered.